Something strange is happening deep below our feet, and it's unlike anything we've ever imagined. Right now, Earth's inner core is growing, but not the way you'd expect. One side, beneath Indonesia, is expanding faster than the other side under Brazil. Why is this happening? And what does it mean for the future of our planet? Stick around, because what we're uncovering might just rewrite what we know about Earth itself. When you think of Earth's core, what comes to mind? Maybe fiery molten rock, unimaginable heat, or the kind of place you'd never want to visit. But scientists have recently discovered that our inner core isn't as simple as a solid metal ball. It's actually growing. And here's the kicker. It's growing unevenly. Picture this. A ball of iron and nickel buried thousands of miles below us, expanding more on one side than the other. And while that might sound harmless, it could have massive consequences. We're talking about the magnetic field that shields Earth from solar radiation, the way tectonic plates move, and even the future habitability of our planet. So how did scientists figure this out? And why is it happening? Let's dig in. Here's the problem. The Earth's core isn't something we can just poke around in. It's over 4,000 miles below the surface, surrounded by layers of molten rock, and reaches temperatures hotter than the surface of the sun. Scientists have to rely on indirect evidence, like seismic waves from earthquakes, to piece together what's happening. And that's exactly how they stumbled on this mystery. Seismic waves, which are basically vibrations from massive Earth movements, travel differently through different parts of the inner core. What they found was shocking. Waves moved faster in one direction than the other. This uneven growth isn't just a quirk. It's been going on for at least half a billion years, and it could be reshaping the inner core itself. But why? Let's rewind and talk about how the core even formed in the first place. When Earth was young, it was a chaotic ball of molten rock. Over time, heavier elements like iron and nickel sank to the center, creating the core. The inner core eventually solidified, but the outer core remained liquid. Now, as heat escapes from the core, it causes the molten outer layer to cool and solidify, a process scientists believe is driving the uneven growth. Here's where it gets even weirder. The side growing faster under Indonesia is depositing more solid iron. Meanwhile, the side under Brazil is lagging behind. But the core itself isn't lopsided. It stays roughly spherical because gravity redistributes the extra material. So what's causing this imbalance? It likely comes down to the mantle, the layer of rock above the core. Variations in the mantle's temperature and composition affect how heat escapes from the core. And since heat flow drives the solidification process, an uneven mantle means an unevenly growing core. Okay, so the inner core is growing unevenly. Big deal, right? Actually, it's a huge deal. The core plays a critical role in generating Earth's magnetic field, the invisible shield that protects us from harmful solar radiation. This magnetic field isn't constant. It's been weakening over the past 200 years, and some scientists think the uneven growth of the core could be part of the reason. If the magnetic field collapses or flips, it could wreak havoc on technology, wildlife navigation, and even human health. On top of that, the inner core's growth could eventually affect tectonic plate movements. The heat from the core drives convection currents in the mantle, which in turn push around the plates on Earth's surface. Uneven heat flow could disrupt this balance, leading to unpredictable geological activity. So what have we learned? Earth's inner core isn't just a static ball of metal. It's a dynamic, evolving part of our planet, growing faster on one side than the other due to uneven heat flow in the mantle. And while this might sound like a minor detail, it's tied to some of the most critical systems that keep Earth habitable, from the magnetic field to tectonic activity. The more we study the inner core, the more we realize how much we don't know. It's a reminder that Earth is still full of mysteries waiting to be uncovered.